Hey, welcome back. I'm Joe DiGiulio with another quick lesson. Today's quick lesson is on Matisse print paste. We're doing a little screen printing today, something I've done for several years. Uh, what we're going to be doing is actually taking the speedball uh, screen that uh, a friend of mine had made. We're borrowing it today from his little garage van. And you're going to mix the print paste in whatever kind of ratio you want to either a uh, flow or a structured medium Matisse paint. Uh, what it does is that it changes that paint into a printable ink quality uh, substance. So uh, taking the print paste, it's kind of like in a jellied form. You see right here, it's, it kind of just kind of coagulates. It looks like kind of uh, hair gel or something like that. But what that paste is going to do is it mix, I've already pre-mixed it with some of the South Ocean Blue, and we put it into the screen. Uh, what I'm using is a uh, Canson Edition screen printing paper uh, for our printed substrate, and uh, now that I have the paint on there, I've got to work it a little bit. So the uh, acrylic paint and the print making paste, I've mixed together. Uh, the ratios of the paste to the paint vary depending on if you want something translucent or opaque. So I'm just taking the squeegee here, and the first thing I want to do is stand it up so I can flood it, which is just putting the paint over the screen area. Let me pull that off to the side. First thing is flood the screen, set it down, and when it's in place, I'm going to pull with the squeegee right across, and it might take a couple, two or three times to do it. Flood it up, and then pull it through. Now, it's a good idea to spray tack your paper down with some kind of like adhesive, like a 77 spray. But you can see the brilliant color of that South Ocean Blue you can get by just taking the, the print, mixing the paint with the print paste, and that print paste gives that luscious tone but makes it very smooth. So just setting that right aside, let me put this down where you can get a really good view of it. But it's just taking print paste, mixing it with the acrylic paint, getting this blended up. It makes a very smooth, luscious texture, great for any kind of papers. But I, I have to tell you, this Canson Edition paper is beautiful for accepting this ink that we've, this ink, acrylic bodied ink we've made. So just taking, flooding, I'm going to do another one. I've enjoyed this so much. Kind of reminds me of my old days of screen printing. Set that one aside. All right, we're going to do another uh, one right here. I've got the print set up. Now, uh, people will ask, well, Joe, why do you use the print paste and just not the paint itself? Well, what the print paste is going to do is going to reduce the viscosity of the mixture of the paint with it so that it can flow through the tiny holes of the screen mesh. Without doing that, it will dry in the screen you won't get the performance you're looking for. Paint just is too thick to go through, but if we flood it up, mix with the print paste, it'll be able to pull off a great print. Well, you see, I didn't flood that all the way there. But this image is going to, you see right here, if that right there is where you don't mix, let me bring this around here where you can see a little bit better. This area right here, this is probably an area where we didn't have a good mixture of the print paste. If you have that print paste really homogenized with your ink, you'll never have this result. Have that, have plenty of paint in your screen. The combination of the print paste and the screen along with the, uh, the paint is going to make for a really great resolution and you can have some quality images. You can see the difference between the first image I pulled off so make sure you have a high volume of the paint film in the screen when you go to pull it. Flood it first, then pull it. 
That's what the print paste will do for you. Use it on any kind of like flat sheet format, you know, posters, things like that. Uh, great for that. A uh, little bit something different than you use if you want to do on fabric. I'm Joe DiGiulio. Thanks for stopping in and checking out this quick lesson.